It's testing the Blue 3 Nemo, which is a floating diving device. So you don't have a diving bottle going down. You have this floating in the surface, and then you can breathe through here. And this is a small compressor. And it is super easy to use. These are the only steps I went through and actually using it a diving with it. With this device, you can dive down to three meters. So this hose, it is three meters long and you cannot go any deeper than that. That's probably because of the strength of the compressor uh, pumping the water down. And the deeper you go, the stronger compressor you need. But three meters for someone who's going snorkeling, it will be a lot of fun. And the advantage of this compared to bringing like a mini diving tank like this or a regular scuba tank, is you don't need to refill this. You just take it to your room, you plug it into the outlet and you recharge it. So the professional term for this would be surface oriented diving. And that's what I did when I did commercial diving. There would be a compressor up with some tanks and you had a hose going down and you had a backup tank on the back of course, because we go really deep and then you get the air from the surface and you can stay down as long as you like or as long as is possible with the decompression. Because, uh, but with this now, it will not be a problem with decompression because it is only three meters. And at six meters, you can stay down as long as you like without needing to decompress. I know someone in the comments is gonna ask, what is this? It's just a microphone. Because if I use a regular microphone, you're not gonna hear what I'm saying because it's so loud in here. So this is what is in the box when you get it. You have a battery, actually you have two batteries. I don't know if it comes with one or two batteries when you send them out. They did send this to me for free, but I'm not getting any monetary compensation and there's no deal where I have to say positive things of this. I just really like this. So in my package, there is two batteries. Uh, you can charge them at home or in your hotel room if you're traveling. You have this which is uh, a floating device or to have around it so it doesn't sink in the water. And of course you have the main uh, compressor and you have the hose, which is attached to compressor and a harness that you just put on you so it stays on. You also have this stick with a diving flag. You have two different diving flags depending on where you are uh, going because different places have different rules and uh, you have a charger which I left at home. So the way you set this up is you of course charge the battery first, put it in the side of the unit, plug it in, screw it attached, then you have the mouthpiece. So to test that it's everything is set, just push it, nothing happens. To open it on the valve here, screw on the side, push the button and you can see it works. And uh, when you run out of battery, you have a spare battery, or at least I have, I will check if you have a spare battery in the online. And you, of course, you have the backpack to transport this. So after attaching the battery, you have to inflate this, which I already did. Then you attach these. There, and that will then float in the surface. Then you also attach the flag then all you need to do is find out how this is going to be. And this goes over your neck. You attach it here. And this goes behind your back. Around. And there you go. Then I would use a lead belt, about one kilo, maybe two kilos, depending on how buoyant you are, just to stay down and just open this. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set it up. 
Then you can dive down to three meters as I said. If you could dive deeper, I would bring a spare air or a, a safety mini tank. Only thing you have to remember when you are using this is even though it's only three meters, you have to breathe out when you swim up or else the air in your lungs will expand and you can, uh, that can cause your lungs to rupture and you really don't want that. Other than that, you're good to go. And the places I could see this being used is, uh, say you have a sailboat or something, jump in, clean the sailboat underneath, if you get something in the propeller, put this together, jump down, fix it. If you're going snorkeling, it's really nice to be able to go down a couple of meters and look at things rather than just swim really out of the surface and then go down for like, you know, 20 seconds and then back up. With this, you can stay down for, for this long. It says you can dive with it. I used it for about half an hour and it still has battery. So this is just a first try and first test. I would use this for a while to see how good it is. And of course, I do recommend you have a diving certificate for using this, but I know a lot of people will buy it without that. But of course, always dive with someone and get a certificate if you want to be safe. And the big advantage of this is when you travel with a diving bottle, even if it's just a small diving tank, you cannot bring them on the plane with air in them. You have to empty them before you fly, which means when you arrive to your destination, you have to refill them and you have to go to a diving shop every time you want to refill them or you have to bring a compressor to refill them and the compressor is usually heavy to bring. This is super light, it's just one extra luggage and you can take it on the plane, go to wherever you want. These batteries are small enough that you can bring them in your hand luggage on the plane and then when you get to the hotel, recharge them, go dive, then go back to the hotel, recharge them and dive again. It makes life so much easier. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out on the webpage. I don't remember exactly what it costs, but it says here. I'll check it when I come home. So I hope you like this video. And uh, if you want to see more and read more about this product, there's a link here to the webpage where you can uh, check it out or buy it. And uh, just subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Have a nice day. Oh, and by the way, if you have any suggestions to videos you want me to make, you can write them in the comments. Have a nice day. This is actually how long it takes me to pack this together after diving with it. <laughs>